Hey everyone, how's it going? Week two with Acid Side of Drew Estate Cigars. We are smoking the new, uh, fairly new release, the Croquetta. One for now, one for later. Stay tuned. everyone to the next installment of Acid Cigars. We're in our second week. Yep. Uh, this is Santino Sunday Cigar Review. I'm Mike. And I'm Mark. And uh, we're back with uh, our second acid, the Acid Croquetta. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It may be Crochet Croquetta. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the one for now, one for later, Tubo. Um, this cigar's been out for, I want to say almost a year think something that we didn't have so we brought it in it's actually a very unique um design as far as a cigar goes i mean you, you know we just lit these this is no there's no joke here i mean that's that's half that's it right there in the tube so it is going to be a very quick cigar you're going to see this burn down all the way to the nub um the cigar itself is a mexican san andreas wrapper with uh, Nicaraguan binders and fillers and finished in the plush infusion. I'm saying that right. Purple infusion. I'm sorry. I wanted to read that and make sure it was right. So, uh, yeah. What do we think? Uh, I I don't taste the, the, the strong sweetness that you get out of a lot of um, uh, acid scars in the lineup. You know, I, I taste it, but it's more subtle, which is actually a little refreshing for me right. because we're not big on the flavored cigars. No. I... So this is another weird niche cigar in a way because it's not as sweet as the rest of the lineup, although it's not really what we would call a mainstream cigar. So I don't know. This this is going to fit a certain smoker. I mean, we have a lot of police officers that come in. They don't want a long smoke. This is great for them. I mean, it has, it has some real, um, it's, it, it, it's a niche cigar to begin with, but then it's a niche cigar within that niche. Yeah. And I, I don't know how else to explain it. Do you, are you agree with me? The yeah, no, no, is, I agree. The is, is a little bit um, subtle compared to the rest <laughs> of the line. I have to say, compared to the Cuba Arte we did in the first episode of the series, the sweetness on this tastes like that burnt sweetness I was talking about as the smoke was coming through the other cigar. Yeah. I could smoke this thing. Yeah, this is quite very often mild. actually. This is uh, in the sweetness mild. Yeah, sweetness mild. Yeah, the right. cigar is actually. I mean, right off the bat, it's unique in this size because typically you're not going to be filling all that strength right away. But this is now. I'm not saying this is a knockout drag out. You know, it's not a knuckle dragger. You know, kind of hurt you in your sleep. But it is a, a rather strong cigar. It, it, I mean, I could and like you I said, like your little one. your little niche thing. Yes, I mean acid. Acid has its followers. We all know that the diehard acid people. And but what makes this one different? It, look at the size, man. That is and, and, it's, the, and the capability <laughs> of it. I mean, that's really not even a word. But I mean, two cigars in one. You don't need humidification. The glass tube protects it. Now you don't want it sitting in your car at 100 degrees like any cigar. But it's great to travel with. It, it's great to have on a lunch break. Yeah. At work. I mean, this cigar is probably going to take about 15, 20 minutes to burn. Yeah, the way we smoke, yeah. It, yeah. For other people, it could take 30 or 40 minutes. True, true. Yeah, without a doubt. But. Mark, what's the price point on these suckers that we just got in? Eleven fifty. Okay. For the tube. So you're looking at, no, I'm sorry, ten fifty. No, yeah, eleven fifty. Sorry about that. The MSRP nationally is ten seventy five to twelve twenty something so again, we, we always seem to kind of fall in the middle, you know, think taxes, you know, we fall in the middle where we should be. Um, so that's good. Uh, the one for now, one for later branding they put on the box is, I it's, think it's, it's genius. genius. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, if you're I smoking did. two cigars a day, like you said, you go out, say you're having a cigar on the way to work, you light the top one, put the cap back on, you put this in your pocket. You get done, you light the second one on your way home for work, you had two cigars in one day for the average cost of a single cigar. The average cost of a single 
premium. acid cigar, even even in the acid line, that's above a um, a blondie or a C note or you know something like that. The cigarillos, things like that. Super unique. I'm excited to talk about the cigar because I can actually taste this one. Okay. This one's different. You go so, first. In this cigar, that Mexican San Andreas wrapper is very evident. Um, very toothy on the feel. It is very dry. And there is that, that earthy grind and spice that hits the middle of your tongue. What I'm really enjoying about this cigar is that the sweetness involved in it is not manipulating it at all. It's not staying on my lips like the Cubar taste. It doesn't did. overpower yeah. from the from the tobacco itself. Exactly. It's not it's not halting me from tasting the tobacco itself. No. I agree. I don't even know if I really have to say anything more to that. What I like, and, and Mark knows, I like cigars with a San Andreas wrapper. Mm-hmm. So I was really hoping that I was going to like this, and I do, you know, just for that reason. So if you know what, what San Andreas, you know, the, the soil there in Mexico is like, I just prefer that. I like that. Yeah. It's, so it's, this was an easy. It, it's super cool because when you pull the smoke in, you get the taste of the tobacco. And because that, that sugary feel to this acid is so low, you know, it's not very high on the spectrum at all, it gives you its own little unique taste that hangs out when you're done, but it's not sugary sweet. And, I, you know, I think it's, 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 it's easy just to dovetail into the next section, try, buy, or deny. For, you know, for me, yeah. I think it's, it's, another, it's another try. And, I, and, we, and we say that jokingly and reluctantly because we thought we weren't going to like any of these. Without and it's doubt. been two for two here so far. Yeah. I think everybody should try these. I don't care how long you've been smoking cigars. I don't care what brand you smoke, what style you smoke. I don't care if you smoke your great great grandfather style cigar. You know, White Owl, whatever. You should try this. You should always try something new. Yeah, I mean, you might about, be as surprised as we are by it. We're about a third into this cigar, and it's yeah. so funny to say that because usually, you know, down here you're you're done. But a third into this cigar, and it, 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 this is definitely a, a try the damn thing, No more man. sweetness, really, for me. No. It, it, this, this episode is going to be quick because the cigar, I mean, there's not really much more I can say or we can do to, um, good job, Drew. I mean, damn, man. I mean, this, this, this is so incredibly unique. Um, I'm going to go back and probably smoke one of those, the, the purple infusions now, because I want to know if... The regular size production uh, Vitolas are going to do the same thing this does, or if it's just so unique that that's the characteristic of the Croquetta, and that's just what comes out of this here cigar, you know? Mm. What do you think? I'm pleasantly surprised, mm-hmm. folks, and this is why we harp on here, always try something new, try a new liquor, try a new cigar. They'll right. try to talk to somebody new sitting next to you. You don't know who's going to turn out to be your new best friend. Right. This right. is what we do here. This is what it's all about, exposing you know, people to something different. Yeah, you know, we joked in that first episode about how we're not acid smokers, but I can't. I don't know that I can say that now. I know. I really don't. Um, super exciting, though. What we're going to do for week three is we're going to wrap up with the brand new limited 20th anniversary um, acid. Uh, I actually smoked this at the trade show this year. This is a, another very surprising acid. It's a very unique cigar. So as far as the Croquetta, this thing, we say it's a try. I don't think there's any reason not to. I mean, if you can see, I know this cigar is so short, but that burn quality is obnoxious. Look, the qua- it, look, you know? everything with Drew Estate, whether you like their brand or not, is done well. Now you can't argue no. with that. I mean, I, I don't Yeah, it's really done know. well. Yeah, there's no, and uniquely, you know, I'm sure these, actually, you know what I can't say, I'm sure that's how it's done. To roll that cigar, right, if you look at it, you would think they just rolled a cigar. Cut it in half. And cut it, but you can't do that. You simply can't, because then you would have, you wouldn't have two of the same cigar. Because you would have, say, if this is how the cigar is put together, then in this order, you would have the filler binder wrapper with the cap. Then down here, you're actually dealing with the middle of the binder, the end of the filler, but then you cap off the end of the filler. It's so genius. So somebody rolled these damn things out like this. I, I don't, you know what? Just come down here and, and, and smoke it or wherever you're at. If you're not here and you're watching this elsewhere, go somewhere, find this Croquetta, and buy the thing, man. I got, I, I don't know, I got nothing. Uh, like I said, super quick episode this week. I'm sorry about that, but 
you know, the cigar did what it needed to do right away. I don't, there's no, nothing bad to say about the cigar at all. Um, look, you know our comment dance, how we do this thing. If you're 18 years or older and local to the state of Missouri, go down there, like, comment, subscribe to the show, leave your comment. If your comment gets the most likes, we're going to hand you these two cigars. <laughs> these two cigars, all right? Get down there. Once you smoke it, let us know what you think, especially if you're an acid smoker. Tell me how this cigar changes or is different than other acids you prefer. Yeah, I'd like to hear the, the feedback and yeah, comments on that. Definitely. What do you got, bud? And, and just remember, folks, live adventurously. Try something new, right? That's why mm -hmm. we say here at Santino's, we drink, we smoke, and we know a few things. A little bit. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>